Hello and welcome, my name is Chris from ChristopherHole.com and welcome to the five best strength exercises for cyclists. Exercise number four, we've moved up to the upper body. So exercise one, two and three, we're all on the lower body, the deadlift, the squat and the single leg uh, step up. Now what we're looking at is upper body. Cyclists, or most cyclists let's say, will neglect their upper body. Obviously, it's not as important as the lower body, but it's still important because there needs to be some degree of balance within the whole body. If you've got really strong legs but a really weak upper body, as it comes to climbing and even descending, there's going to be a certain degree of um, imbalance. Especially going up hills, we need the upper body to keep the bike as rigid as we can. And that comes from the core, the shoulders and the arms. So by using something like Stability Row, we're getting all of those uh, sort of elements from one exercise. Because we're, we've got one arm on the bench, as you can see in the picture there, and we've got one arm lifting the weight, it's unilateral in its core, sort of the way it's working the core, because the left side of my body is the side that's really got to hold strong because there's nothing sort of uh, holding it to the floor. Obviously, the right side can be be switched off a little bit more because the arm's doing a lot of the stability. But the left side, because the arm's moving the weight, it's obviously the core isn't going to be as uh, stable, so it needs to contract a lot more to give that stability. Now, this type of exercise can recreate, as we're going up a hill, the sort of the motion of the bike going from side to side, and the left and the right arm obviously needing to control that bike because it's not both arms uh, contracting at the same time. As the bike goes to the left, obviously the left side of the body has got to control that. As it goes to the right, the right side of the body has got to control that. So this is why we're using this unilateral core uh, strength exercise. It's also isometric, uh, which basically means a static contraction. So what it's giving you is a good, strong, solid core in the saddle. So it's not going to be wasting all the energy from the hips with all the core moving. And then finally, as I've mentioned before, it strengthens the back, it strengthens the shoulder and the, uh, the arms. So many thanks for watching. I will meet you in the final exercise, exercise five.